Welcome back to another video. I'm here with, it's like I'm here with my best friend, best friend, show me a movie. <laughs> with Carly, it's been too long. She's here for my semi, she's my dates. I still gotta decide what dress and all that. But yeah, we're gonna take you guys along. We'll probably do like a little get ready with us and a little mini vlog. Right now we're going to Soda City, Soda City to get like coffee, we need that. And like so bowls and stuff, yes. <laughs> And we might be making something here. And we have to get ready early. We're starting at like 1.30. The event's at like early. So we'll see how that goes. Just made some TikToks. We'll be making a lot more later. Our outfits are just comfy. I think it's urban. I don't know the pants. And Carly's wearing a cute little tennis skirt. Peggy. Oh yeah, we just saw it now. <laughs> okay. We gotta go or else we're never gonna go. Oh, I didn't even know this coffee place existed. It's like outside the hub, like outside Soda City. But I thought it'd be better if we like got our coffee here before it got like all started. And it's like a Christian coffee shop, so cute. <laughs> Phone must eat first, Woggy must eat first. Taste test. Shake her up, okay. This is my, this is my fifth, your fourth or fifth day in a row of buying coffee. But at least it's not Starbucks. I broke my, my chain of Starbucks. It's exam week, I have an excuse. I wanted to try their Snickerdoodle espresso, but I get scared to try new drinks. She does a lot of espresso. That was amazing. Really good. Oh my god, I'm about to drink this whole thing. Yeah, I think that I get nothing. I love oat milk. I think I've just got one. I love almond so much. This is the most perfect coffee. Like, how do I make this at home? I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, why can't I figure it out? I don't think anyone can. I think that making drinks from coffee will never eat their at home. Got our food for later tonight. That, we got a sample. We're one of those people that the samples work on, like you actually buy the samples. <laughs> like when you're in the mall and they're like, let me eat that time. Yeah, here. and you like never end up buying. Look at that cake. There's so much cute stuff here. There's so many dogs. Then you get out. Such a nice day. I buy every sweet Morning coffee and just blow bubbles. Okay, we're starving, but Sydney and Jacob are making a huge breakfast, so we're gonna wait for that. Um, we, we got, got popcorn. Oh, we got some shirts. I shouldn't have bought this. It's literally a triple XL oversized shirt. I shouldn't shirt. have bought this. I'm gonna wear it on one occasion, but then yeah, we, we should both. And it was eighteen dollars. I could get this at Walmart, but it's 30. huge, and I'm gonna wear it tonight. It lay has lumberjacks on the back. Like that's a little Disney one, so that I can. That's you know. actually. I think I can style that one. This I cannot wear. I'm gonna uh, look up some Emma Chamberlain and spoke. Now we're going. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. I was just confused. We're not doing. Okay, I'm stop saying that. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I want to interrupt this video and tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Casetify. We love Casetify. Literally everyone I know uses it. I use it. Y'all know. If I have a case on my phone, it will be Casetify. Celebrities use it. We've seen like Kylie Jenner, Addison Rice. So many people use Casetify. You should too. All my friends literally text me all the time for discount code. Always hook them up. I got y'all. And I'm so thankful that they're sponsoring this video because I love Casetify. So basically, I'm going to tell you guys a little about, bit about them. So basically, Casetify has cases that are slim and protective. For the impact cases, they have the two layers of the G-Tech protection and can protect up to 6.6 .6 drop 
feet and the ultra impact cases can be dropped up to 9.8 feet like when would you even drop it that high like that's insane if you do you're protected which is much more protected than those cheaper alternatives you can find on amazon and i personally think they're cuter so they come in so many different styles different shapes sizes you can even customize them i have so many where i put my name or like a cute little saying or your initials and you can do whatever color custom or they have designs for you the opportunities are endless with case to buy that's what i love about them you can match your phone case to your personal style they're also case to buy is antimicrobial protection it kills 99 percent of bacteria staying germ free so case to buy is Impact case and ultra impact case is made with up to 50% recycled material so you can feel good about what your phone is wearing. So if you guys are getting the new iPhone or a new iPhone anytime soon or if you have one, you should definitely get a case to buy case. This one, I'll show you guys some more of mine. Right now I have this one on. California, you guys know, is my dream, LA. And it's just kind of like a mood board. It kind of motivates me every day looking at my case. So I just got these pictures from Pinterest and I uploaded them and they have this format. It was so easy, guys. But I'm gonna do a little drop test for you guys. My bed, once I stand on it, it's higher than 6.6 .6 feet. So here's my phone before. She's beautiful, she's not cracked. Now I'm gonna drop it, this always scares me. Okay, here we go. Eek, 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 eek. Beautiful, not a single damage in sight. We love that. And look how slim this case is, yet protective. Uh, it's protection with personality, keeps you safe from germs and drops all the above. Like what more could you want in an iPhone case? I really don't understand. What else y'all could want? The Ultra Impact case is the world's slimmest yet most protective in the world case out there. So, I, literally, I've been at like a party and literally my phone has gotten like thrown across the room. I don't know how. And everyone's like, oh my god, it's you're screwed. And I'm like, no, guys, I have a case to buy case. Don't worry. And of course, it's been fine. So, I'm gonna show you guys some of my cases. I literally have a whole drawer of them. Look how cute. This one's one of my fave Angel. It's a mirror. Really cute. You can do your lip gloss. This one's for traveling. I love me some traveling. This one's just clear, really cute. I love the tie-dye. This one, another travel one. It reminds me of um, Italy. It says ciao. This one, I put a bunch of A's in. This one's some cows. Like, I could go on, y'all. This is the Ultra Impact case. And look at the little um, bumpers. You can see those built-in bumpers. Really do a really great job of protecting it. So you guys can go to casetified.com slash Anaheim to get 15% off. That's casetified.com slash Anaheim to get 15% off. That is such a good deal. You're going to want these cases. I know I love them and all my friends do. All right, back to the video. Um, Of getting ready actually first step was shower off the tan did that Check. second step is have Kaylee curl my hair always <laughs> or else it looks like a piece of poop <laughs> frizzy poop so my curling iron just broke actually so if you have any comments for wands that's yeah. your favorite wand ever give them below but this one's really good so but it's probably expensive if it was <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't know though because this is like her old one true she gave it away like I was able to get this out of it but that's a lot to, yeah but you have to turn it. it I did after every single curl, you yeah, turn it on and off. off. Yeah, apparently we have to be ready. We're supposed to be ready at three, but that's in ten minutes, so that won't be happening for us. Boys are so lucky. They're all like, let's drink. And they're like, I'm going to the pool. I'm, I'm like, okay. Like, outside with yeah. glasses. Like, okay, cool. You have to put on a shirt. Like, we have to, like, she give our lives up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, so he has to go buy shoes. He has to go buy nice shoes. Well, he forgot his boots. That's where he normally is. <sighs> he wants to be comfy. <laughs> I love this rope so much, but I get so hot in it. Yeah. It's, like, better for winter. I had to take off my shirt. Still haven't decided what dress I'm wearing, but we'll figure that out. My nails are glowy. And then I just have to do makeup. The only thing that's going to take me forever is eyelashes. You're doing eyelashes? Yes. I don't know if I'm going to. I'm doing those ones I wore in Daytona. <sighs> Please. Because I, y'all, if you guys were on my live in Daytona, I literally had a meltdown. Like, I was like, because we were running late and my eyelashes work. I was like, this is so annoying. Like, I was, <laughs> you know how mad I get. Yes. I was being so dramatic. For what? 
for my eyelashes to not work. I was, like, I was like, I'm getting extensions. I, like <laughs> I was like, sorry guys, you just saw a different side of me. But yeah, that comes out when I get ready because I hate getting ready. That's why I have to start so early for cheer get ready because the eyelashes, if they go wrong, it just ruins everything. You have to start all over. It puts everything behind. It, then it gets glue points. everywhere. Yeah. Actually. Also, we everyone else on our team had tryouts today, but we don't. Okay, I'll update y'all when my hair is done and I do my makeup. Okay, my hair. I'm gonna try to film a get a little quick ready ready thing right here. I'm probably gonna run out of storage, but we're gonna try. I really want my makeup to pop off, y'all, for Simmy. My last one. It, my routine hasn't changed much, but I want to change it soon. So I'm gonna start out with my Lancome primer. It's very expensive. Next time, I'm just gonna get a primer that's not as expensive because I don't really care about primer. Even that's really good. The thing broke off and it's stuck in there, so I have to use a Q-tip to get it on there. But it just feels like it sets my makeup better. I'm gonna try a not name brand next time. If it doesn't work, then I'll like reevaluate, you know? But for now, I might as well. This is a little base. And then I just use, I use Revlon Color Stay Toast Tail. I use this when I'm tan, when I'm not, I don't like this one. And I just use this Real Techniques brush. Sometimes I use a beauty blender, but most of the time I like a brush. They just get, um, the sponges just get dirty a lot. Foundation needs to stay all night. It's gonna be a long night. We're supposed to be ready at 3, but it's like 3 now. We're probably gonna do more like 3.30. But the event isn't till 6, so we have a lot of time on our hands. See, like, I don't get it. This foundation is really good. But I don't know the difference in using a brush and sponge. Like, should I be using a sponge? I don't know. And we're gonna go on to the neck because, first of all, my neck tanned really badly. Like, it's so splotchy. Cause I got a spray tan if I told you about that in the last vlog. I, I got a spray tan, but the machines were broke and then the one I went in didn't even work. So it didn't work very good. Foundation, yes, we like, I think. Now, for concealer, I just use this Instant Age Rewinder, but I want a new concealer. I think I wanna use like Tarte or something. This is good, but like, I don't know why. I just want one that like is a brush, like, you know. Also this pimple has been here for like three weeks. So don't know what's wrong with it. I just put them normally in these spots and then any extra ones that I need. And then now we use the beauty blender. Dab that in. Looks like a lot lighter there, but we'll fix that. And Bert's beast because his lips are chapped. I normally go back and put some more on the spots that I have. So this step I only do if it's like an event. I use the L'Oreal or CoverGirl translucent powder to bake. And I just bake where I did the concealer. It just like does like a much like smoother finish, you know? I just really press that powder into there. I look crazy. Okay, um, so I let that bake. I gotta be better about cleaning these. I guess I'll just run it underwater for now. I always forget to wet my beauty blender before I start too. It's so much bigger when it's wet. Okay, and while that's baking, I normally do my contour. I use the Anastasia, Anastasia, Beverly Hills pot. I don't know which one. I think it's light to medium. I kind of like go between all three. Normally I do eyeshadow, but I'm going to wait for Carly to do it. Normally people do it there and make the line sharp, but I didn't. Then I kind of take the Hula bronzer and just blend all that. My faces are scary. I literally don't use a name brand blush, just whatever I find at the store. This one, Maybelline. I love blush, so I try to get it really dark. If y'all have a good name brand, I might invest because I love blush. And then highlight, I use the Becca Champagne Pop, and it broke. Y'all said use that alcohol thing. I need to do that trick, but I haven't done it. And I just do it right here to make her glow. I love highlight. No look is complete without it. Then for my nose, I do this. And the Cupid's bow, bro, bow, whatever it's called, bow. I don't know. Oh, also recently I started um, contouring my nose a little. I really don't know how to do it, so I just do a little bit. I don't know if that looks weird. Oh well. For this part, I will be having Coco Carly say what she's doing because she is so okay <laughs> and always does my eyeshadow. So, can't help y'all there. Oh, it's outside. Awesome. I like can do it, but I don't do it good. And whenever she's here, I just love for her to do it. Also, see y'all that nose how to like be popping. It's always worth it. You want dark and good. Light, 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 and then dark on the edges. Okay. I love sparkly light. On the so. Eye. When starting eyeshadow, you always start with a lighter color as your base color, so I'm dipping the light 
little light. We just gotta coat the brush, mm -hmm. make her extra Pigment. thick. <laughs> that was so dramatic. <laughs> Okay, so it already has a little bit of color on it and it's not coming off. So she has a little bit of dark mixed in with this already. So that's good because we're already gonna go in with it so it doesn't really matter. So I do that all around the eye. I did Liv's eyeshadow too. Liv, come here, come show them your eyeshadow. Hi, vloggy. There we go. Sure they're so that's what she did, that's what she did. The mauve dark and the black. Not too much black because you don't want it to be heavy. So a little bit more mauve than any of the dark colors to cancel out all that jazz. And then just lightly go in on each side because you want the pigment to be the same. And then blend on one and then blend on the other. Like I hear it and then I go do it and it looks like a shit. When I get lash extensions again now, I'm probably not gonna wear eyeshadow barely ever because like it just makes oh, them go way faster. I literally barely wear eyeshadow. I'll put bronzer in my crease and that's it. Oh. Okay, so she goes and sprays. This is a good tip. I didn't know it worked, but it does. So yeah, you yeah. spray um, your setting spray onto the brush, two sprays on each side, and then I'm going to take, you want a light, just a light color from the palette. It'll go away. Oh, it's wet. Don't get scared. <laughs> so you take a light color like that, and if you get a little wet spot, it'll go away, I promise. And then you take whatever sparkly color you want and just maneuver it in there. And I'm going to... Get a little bit of the Becca highlight as well, just because that makes it shimmer more. Oh. Look up. I always, I use the Ofra highlight in the corner of my eyes and my eyeshadow every time. And you don't brush it, you pat it in. Oh. Brushing smears, patting places. And the thing about patting is it might look clumpy at first, but at the end, you'll take a blending brush and go over everything to make it look all nice and smooth. Look, I you did look my so hair. Good. Looks you look so good. You did it yourself. Good. Did you use the um? Like my fake hair. Oh my god. It doesn't so it cool. look so real? Like, dude, that looks obviously it's so like good. if you didn't know me, you would think it's yeah. She so got good. thin hair and it'd be looking thick and normal. <laughs> I mean, hey, no, like, like I mean, normal, not like yeah. wearing a wig, not like you look normal. <laughs> I'm obsessed. You look so elegant. Love. Love. It's like a mermaid. Mm -hmm. So now I'm taking that same brush I used for the highlight part. Now I'm doing halfway under her eye, meeting in the middle of her eye with the highlight. This is a really good lesson for everyone. I need it too. I can watch it back. Then I'm going to put it at underneath her brow line for highlight as well. Mm -hmm. And lastly, the final touch. Underneath the eye, dip in your two darkest colors you used. So I fan the brush and just smear it under her. I feel like this does a lot. Makes your eyes pop so much more. You do the darkest color. That you used on your eye. So half of it's your highlight. More, like it's more 40, 60, 60 darker, 40 highlight. Wow. Oh Tell me if you want me to add just change. Y'all look. Wait, if you're in the area, it looks so good. My makeup looks hard. I could kiss you. Thank you so much. You. Now let's hope I don't mess up my... If I do my lashes. Okay, if I have a mental breakdown, it's because of these eyelashes. So, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I think I'm going to keep them all summer because they're nice when you don't have to wear makeup to like the pool. Just going to hold it because normally I get impatient and don't hold it. And that's when things go bad. Tweezers really help. I'll try to get down so y'all can see. The beginning's coming off a little now. It's the sides that are so hard to get to stay. I think I just glued it to my freaking eyelid. I'm gonna come back when they're on, y'all. Okay, y'all, I think I did it. But also the inside's really bugging me. If these fall off, I'm literally gonna cry. Okay, now we use setting spray. Where'd it go? Is the setting spray out here? Urban Decay All Nighter. Almost out, we need more. I take the highlighter and do a little bit in my crease, even though Carly kind of did that. And then under the brow more. Then the Anastasia brow gel. I don't do much to my brows because I just try to brush them up, but mine weren't made to do that and it's really upsetting. So I wish I could do that like every girl does, but my hair is so thick, it doesn't work. I just keep them in place. I just hate my brows so much. I know they're like good because they're thick, but they don't do much. Like, I can't shake over anything. I've tried waxing, I've tried threading, I've tried everything. 
Okay, for lips. Okay, it appears I lost my Kylie Jenner lip kit, so that's really good for me, really good. But, he has said, I order a new one, I'll use this red one. They sent me a bunch of lipsticks. Shout out them. I'm just gonna use like a, um, this one's a matte. I'm just gonna do that, cause they don't, they're not like really like crazy, they just give you a little salt. See, it like doesn't show up that much. Which is good, cause I don't want it to. And then, I just put any drugstore lip gloss over it. This one, I don't really know the brand, but it's just drugstore. Always retouch. Done. Here's the final look, y'all. I'm super happy with it. Went with this dress, happy with it. Go with your gut. This is my gut. And yeah, everyone's outside testing lighting. So, it's gonna be night. I'll vlog some and show y'all. Look at Carly, look how good she looks. Yep. Yep. We love it. Now we gotta take some TikToks before we go to the general public. <laughs> Just kidding. Hello guys, it's Ah! Oh my God, gross. Um, we just took some pictures to let Bonnie out. You know what they say, the most stressful pre games make me. I mean, they always, they always actually awful. Okay, I'll show you guys everyone. Sorry. No, you're fine. Here's them. <laughs> I'm already done. I had to take them off. Who's your date? Is this your date? No, that's no. a dirty dance date. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice, to nice to meet you. That's my wrong oh my hand. God. Look, dirty dance. Yay. Yay. Oh, not the outfit. When your whole. Oh my god, does my whole stunt group let me have a date? Everyone's having like a. Moment out here. Is this Gabby? <gasps> Hi, Foggy. Oh, these are my children. <laughs> I told y'all, I eat these all the time. I don't lie. Bill Mars, y'all. Okay, so Hi. we're just. I mean. We just really do this for our squad, we do this for our team, we host a little get-togethers, just a little get-together. We do be hosting a little bit, yes. Um, it's really hot out, we had a stressful picture time, but we really like rally. It started raining. It started raining, so hear us out, like stressful. Raining. But now it's like beautiful. But now it's like, it's like very weird weather vibes, but we're here. It's going now. Hey guys, ending the vlog here. Such a great cheers to me. I didn't, I mean, I couldn't record pictures because I forgot you, but I'm glad because it was stressful. But the night was so fun. Our last one ever. We'll never go to another college dance ever, which you will, but. You will. You're gonna be there next year. Way at least you go. No way that y'all are gonna be there next year. Oh wow. We'll see. My I just hate to be those girls that like yeah. still show up, you know. Be but. those girls. <laughs> Everyone would love. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you Wait, I enjoyed. Love y'all. Bye.